Hello again, welcome back to Warwickshire Toy and Bonsai. Sorry I haven't made any videos for a while. So I've been very busy and plus I lost one of my fish I think from swim bladder problems. It was starting to float on top and going down to the bottom and making funny swimming movements and things like that. And plus the cold weather didn't help. And also <laughs> My UV packed up and had to go and buy a new UV. So you can see I've been very busy, which all the astro turfs down there, and that's done. Oh, pushes up and feeding. Uh, the water's coming a bit clear, and it just took two weeks to get it that clear with a 110 UV on it. So. I made all this fresh now to put my bonsai trees on. And then we potted. And it's got loads and loads of new flowers on this one. Sorry if the sound's a bit bad, it's the noise of the show. But I renewed all this. And like I say, put all this astro turf down. Which looks you will agree it looks a million times better. I didn't put it down, I had professionals come out and do it. But they, they did do a good job for me, so. All the hanging baskets is out now. The two fish waters in there. They are feeding and eating well. So from the top feeding there, they look good. So, uh, the leaves is out, and I have been working on the filter shed. This is I've extended this. Got Astro Turf down here as well. These are my new bonsai trees. And I've just purchased. And there's another one on there. Like I say, I'm sorry about the sound, but I'm using the phone and I don't know if it's gonna be 100 percent clear. That's the place to put my new inverter Fermatech eater. This is all the new cladding I've put on new door and it made it uh, I think about five foot bigger inside six foot bigger inside it's going to be a bit noisy inside so I'll try and explain the best way I can I don't finish yet but that's what I'm putting around yet plus the fiber back three I put on it there's the new UV there's the where it's going through now to put the heater on I've just got to finish that bit off over there all the new plastic and the floor, new flyboard, which I'm going to want to do away with this one. It's got to go around the back so that you don't even see it. And run this here. This is working okay. The temperature is 15 and it's 25 in the shed. Uh, and you can see I'm putting these. Electric pipes in all the way around. I've got two more to do that side. So I think they're a little easier. These people are having problems. When they go from long to do one, you've got to shut the pond off. Yeah. That's why I'm putting all the way around like that. So the new pipe will fall down. Then I'm putting washable lining in the floor so I can wash out like when you're having a bath. Then I better get over here because it's a bit noisy in there. So I've just got to put a concrete base down there now, just to put me in there to eat one, which uh, my wife ordered from Absolute Kai for me, which I said it'll be about six weeks. Um, plus I've got another thing to go on there when it's all finished, a new Tempest, which is in the box there, which will be running off the skimmer. But I ain't finished this, this decking down here yet which is giving me a bit more room to put that down here. And the candlelist tree. But you can see it's already starting to come back out again. All the hanging baskets is looking lovely. All the flowers is all out, maples. All these hanging baskets I've made myself. So one of the maples has come out nice, the climbers. As I say, the water 
The water is still a little bit green, not so green as it was a week ago. You couldn't even see the bottom of it. Well, you couldn't even see the fish in there. But now it's just starting to clear, and like I said, it took two weeks to clear it the way it is with a 110 UV. So whoever tells you 55 watt UV does a 4,000 gallon pond, it don't happen. Flowers is all done there. And that finished over there. The astro turf is looking lovely on there. I did do a good job. I have been asked by a few people about my windows. As far as I know, they're double laminated. That's all I know about them. Obviously, I think they're tough and glass. But somebody said, uh, what kind of glass is it that all of them are laminated? Two skins and laminating through the middle of it. So, but this is one of the new trees, Japanese white pine, which you can see is very, very nice. All wired. And we've got his into bonsais. And that's another one, fresh one as well. Said all the maples is all that hanging baskets, pots is all there. And the burnham's come out. A little miniature bath has been potted up. So I can set through the window now and watch me fish when it clears up 100 percent which you can just about see the air bubbles. Three or four days ago you couldn't even see them. So I'll take you at the front and show you. I know this is a Kai channel, not a, a flower channel. And I'll take you at the front and show you a couple of the pots I've really done out there for them as well. The yeah, only baskets is up there, look. Those. All the maples there and lovely. Just got a weed gravel out there. And all the front's finished then. So if you could like this video, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. I take notice a lot of people is looking at the videos and not subscribing. It don't cost me to subscribe and it helps me grow the channel. So if you could hit the subscribe button and give us a thumbs up. And when I reach a thousand subscribers, I will be giving a, a big giveaway away. Uh, I'll let you know what that is in the near future which will be the trailer related, it will be brand new in a box and I think they're about 80 or 90 quid to go and buy that's a little ink blue and the Apshi Kai water and stuff like that you can do things with them so once I reach a thousand subscribers I will be giving the giveaway away and I don't think there's any flowers left in here now might be one or two bits that still need to come out. Oh yeah, I've got to clean it all up in here though. Still got a couple of bits in here. It's only my tool shed really, but it's nice and warm. Let's throw the flowers in. Look at that, that's much better. I think that the filter room, it does all proper tongue and groove wood, what clicks together. So. And as I say, that's all plumbed up, ready, just to put a concrete base down here to put my pump on, and my eater on, sorry. So, which that'll be coming soon, which I'll be ready for, obviously, for the winter then. I've still got to finish this off around here, put cap in the top and paint it all grey. I'll put some more new bags of gravel down, which I've got. And give all this a coat of paint. If anybody's interested, my wife did buy me some bins as well. I can get them off out of a shop where I live. They've got all different coloured lids on them. So she bought me three of those and she bought our friend one, Pete. Some chest kits on there. A combo. 
um, two animators, um, plus more in there, scales and medication and stuff. Like I said, there's my UV box I only just put on two weeks ago. Um, that's my new Tempest one I haven't even been put on yet. That'll be running from the skimmer up and I went from the skimmer on that wall when it's all plastic. Then the, the outlet what runs back into the pond, it'll run over the top of that sieve. So there's no rubbish goes back to the pond whatsoever. The J Bow pumps, I think J Bow, J whatever they call them, they're working fine. So powerful for little things. Still got the big 150 Evolution Aqua one in there. I'll keep that as a spare. So, even plant the strawberries in these, I think. Yeah, as you agree, I think everything's uh, looking nice now. Still got a few more bits to do, but. I'm push them the cylinder. There's only two in there at the minute. I did have a problem, like I say, with the temperature shower. I just woke up one morning and it was dead. Uh, which not really nice to lose a fish. So I've moved the bird box up onto here. And I'm just waiting for a set here to come out to do one there. That's me, five lag of shandy waiting for me. I don't drink, so it's only shandy. So I bought these solar panel lights, they light up at night when you're all different colours. They do come out nice. I like it red, green, pink, blue, lilac colour. I come from Amazon, so if anybody's interested, it's like a little Japanese symbol thing. Please do agree that it does look nice down there. Like I said, thank you for watching the videos. And if you want to go to the channel, please subscribe if you could. Give us a thumbs up. Thank you very much. Thanks then. Bye bye.